So Vic, yeah, I'm ready. I think I'm ready to stretch some some, some weird bones. Oh, I'm set, man. Yeah, That's right. It's time for money. Coffee. I got mine right there. It's time to get live and get lifted. We got everybody there. We got all the Jedi Knights in the chat room. We got Mac McAllister, the GNM Bureau Chief. We got PMC coming all the way from Pittsburgh. And Norman Ross is heating it up in Cleveland. <laughs> man, it's that time. It's that time, man. If you get any brighter, man, you're going to block out the sun. I don't know what you're wearing, but it got to be new, right? It's got to be new. Hey, man, my mother can find me in the crowd. I can tell you that. <laughs> yeah, you I don't get lost. You, you, you Driving while bright. We'll call that driving while, while bright. Hey, you guys, welcome to Morning Coffee. This is how we do it. Yesterday, we had a ball with Don Juan of Dig Dignity Cigars, man. Look, I love the story. He's hooked in already. Plugged in, hooked in. Empire Builder. Love it. But you know, today's a day when a diva rolls in the house, and we're going to have DeVoe coming in here. She's beeline straight from... I'm not going to tell you. I'm not going to tell you. But in the meantime, you know what the subject is today? I bow my head for a moment to Chad Johnson because I realized that when you did that pat on the butt in the courtroom, you were patting the butt of your attorney. And you were saying, good, good job, right when she was about to let you walk out, the judge. And she said, no, we'll give you a couple of days to think about it. Mario, you think he's going to serve the whole 30 days? Yeah, well, I don't know. I think it's a lesson. I think it is not, a lesson. Yeah. And we all done stupid things. <laughs> you know, if you haven't done a stupid thing, raise your hand. Wait a minute. I, I know I have. So Wait a minute. I'll hang my head and shave for a minute just in memory. But if you see it, you know, so far everybody's sitting up there going like, he pat the butt of his attorney like a football game. Said, good, you know, he said, good play. You know, good, you know, he said, good job. That was, you can't oh, well, shine, you well, can't shine up the judge like that. Yeah, you can't, yeah, you and can. even that, in some places, just, you, all behavior doesn't work. That's right. Everywhere, just like all right. language, not in front of everybody. You know how to conduct yourself, you are not above the law. In the meantime, we got some new, new sports, guess what, Tebow's back, we got football in June, and if you think Brady is the man that runs New England, he is, but the most popular man in New England right now is Tim Tebow. I told you, Vic, I told you, the right person could use him, he's got... Anybody with an attitude like that, you could be on my team. <laughs> That's I'll, right. I'll find you a spot. You know what? And I heard Tebow is a butt patter. So let's go on to the next subject, the hot picks. That's Mac McAllister. <laughs> the next one is... Norbert is the butt that they like to pat. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to do something to call the essence of... Well, i just leave it alone until we get there. In the meantime, you guys, like I said, you know, football is football. Morning coffee is morning coffee. And when you swing in the bright light, you look at Mario and say, swing your arms, man. Let's do what we came to do. <laughs> all day, man. All Come day. On. <laughs> just be. Come on, yo. Be cool. If I ever wear something that bright based on how I look. With whoa, 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 whoa. You got to wear it bright. You know what? They're going to think, bright, they, bright, they're bright. Gonna think aliens are landing. <laughs> They're going to they gonna say their goals are drive-by alien. Oh, no, there it goes. That's a black man. No, that's Vic. He's he's bright. <laughs> we go, there's Mario right. testing out his latest hip-hop couture. But that's tight, though, man. I have to give it to you. <laughs> Ain't nobody going to hit you on the hey, sidewalk, man. You know what? Think about it, Mac, PMC. Y'all understand, Norman. You know, we get older. How are we going to be hip? At least, at least being hip today is cheaper. I, just the idea that you keep using the term hip. Because, hey, well, maybe I got to work on that. You know, I was talking to somebody about uh, vaccinations and stuff, and we were talking about uh, French kissing. And I said the term French kissing, and I said, do people still use that? Yeah, they do. <laughs> they, they do. Okay, because they said, yeah. And I said, okay, because it sure sounds like a whole term. What kind of kissing is named after a country? I know, I know. America kissing. What's the best term to use? Some Rwanda kissing. Yeah, what about, you know, I always say, yeah, I can't say this, man. That's not right. I think there's a better term. I'm not going to go there. That's not right. You know, if I say it, everybody's going to say dirty old man. Well, we are. <laughs> you guys, it's Tuesday, June 11th, and it's going to be a wonderful day in the neighborhood. We've got the Empress DeVoe coming, and she's on time as usual. <laughs> but she's so wonderful, you know, with the Empress. So we love the way she makes the interest into the room. Yep. It is Tuesday. And we're going to be having at 7.30. Okay, here's the thing tonight, you guys. Yeah. Okay, here's the thing. Yep. We want to watch the NBA game. <laughs> That's right. 
<laughs> we want to do the show. <laughs> but we want to watch the game, baby. I want to watch the game. I want to watch the game. I want to watch the game. This is game. Yeah, yeah, so if you want to hang around, that's right. No special guest hey. tonight. Hey, so everything's to follow the game. Yep. Okay, if the game goes long, you guys give us a break. I'll start <laughs> right. some. You know what? I'll try to get. You know what? I'll try to get ready, Vic. This is what? what I'll do. What? I'll try to get sort of a nice playlist. Right. That'll start right. Right. You know, at seven thirty. That's cool. But we really want to finish, and then at the end of the game, we'll start the meeting because we got to talk about uh, things. A few, at least fifteen minute meeting, at least. At right. least. Uh, you know, it's usually supposed to be half an hour, and then we'll do the show. The yeah. Two hour show. Yeah, man. Like I said, it's uh, it, like I, I'm not trying to say we shouldn't do it, but we know we're not going to have a room full of brothers watching us while the NBA finals is on. That's that's not going to happen. We want we, we got to happen, again. man. And so I hope you I hope you guys are going to forgive us. <laughs> <Yeah>. Okay. Look <laughs> at Norman. Look at Norman. <laughs> I want to shout. We're going to do the show. It might be. First of all, we only say this because theoretically, right, Vic? Right. The game should be over. Right, should be if it starts on time. If it starts on time, it should be it over should be before a eight. It but should we be. It's not the meeting. It's every, not. We will jam. So, by the way, you guys get your request tonight. Right, because we got a lot more room for requests tonight. Because what I did was select some artists right. that we can jump around and get a whole different kind of eclectic feel. You're gonna hear some different things from Michael Henderson from Funkadelic. Cool, you know. And we're gonna also bring you up to date with some of the crazy folks going around today. And and I, what I like about what we're doing here. All you guys know this, and this is true. When the sports come on, don't you know they push the other shows behind it back until it's completed? That's all. That's all, Norman. <laughs> That's it. Just hang out. <laughs> Just hang out. That's right. Hey, you guys, we got to always acknowledge that chat room like I did in the intro. That's because they are part of the heart and soul and fabric of this show. Right. They are unique personalities. Freaks, freaks, freaks. Unique personalities unto themselves. Right. So that's, that's right. why we did acknowledge up there in uh, Port Towns in Washington, Po Town, right. our GNN Bureau Chief, Mac McAllister. That's right. Sure. Producer, director of the Online with Mac Retro Jazz and Blues Show, the number one Retro Jazz and Blues Show. Go over there and check it out. He's got merchandise. By the way, coming from Pittsburgh, PMC, Beatmaster. A.K. Philip Custard. Yep. He also has merchandise. He has beats. Because this is a point I'm making. And guess what? Norman Ross, the sensitive brown eyes <laughs> from Cleveland. Right. He, he's got merchandise. Norman's got. What was it? Norman is a calendar. Is it a fashion calendar? <laughs> oh, you serious? I, I'm just kidding. That's wrong. No, but man. Norman's got That's merchandise. Got he just has merchandise. He's, what? He's, he's getting it all together right now. So he wants everybody to know. Oh, okay, cool. Now, you know you can make your own commercials with narration. Yeah. <laughs> you know and what? I will. Oh, whatever. I'm tired. <laughs> okay. Tuesday, June 11th, you guys. I got a, some announcements. You know, tomorrow, Wednesday, special guest, Melina Lawrence, actress, polit politainment correspondent, entrepreneur. This is a motivated, involved young sister. You're going to enjoy her. We're going to be sipping and schmoozing. With Melina tomorrow, so I think you guys will like it. Jump in the room and be there to, you know, cheer her on. All right. Uh, remember the show tonight, 8 p.m. A uh, hot and twin, can, ugh, hot and trending tweets. Can you guys? How fast can you say that? Hot and trending tweets. Trending tweets. You know, I was gonna let let it switch to let her have this one. Oh, you're gonna? Because cool. I still got the chair here. Oh. Okay. You know, we we working for the we trying out some new chairs, right. some rolling chairs. Sounds good. Quieter too, huh? Yeah. Don't hear shit, do you? Okay. Well, anyway, you guys, weekly quotation this week is by Barack Obama. Every week we have a weekly quotation, and this week the quotation is: "The thing about hip hop today is it's smart, it's insightful, the way they can communicate a complex message in a very short space is remarkable." And that's from our president. Thank goodness. Okay, you guys. Topics, to, you know, the whole thing, we're going to be showing some music videos today. Today's broadcast may not be uploaded to YouTube because we're going to be showcasing sex trends in pop music. And we're going to look at a bunch of videos. Some of them are going to shock you because they're popular folks 
They're doing different. We're going to talk about this different kinds of trends, and everybody thinks it's so different. You know, I came up with Funkadelic, so I acted a damn fool with music. So I, I, you can't really shock me too much. Well, that's tame against the rappers and hip-hop. Well, that's what we're going to see. We're going to look at some of the sex trends in pop music today and see if they shock you. Yeah. Update also. Yesterday, our wonderful guest, Don Juan, right? Right. Of, of Dignity Premium Cigars. Had a great time with him. I still have, a, I saved half. Is that okay? I'm normally you save a cigar. I saved half for tonight. Okay. I smoked some again last night. It's a way it was a wonderful cigar. But I wanted to say, he mentioned two kinds of rum. Zaya rum, Z-A-Y-A. Right. And Flor de Cana. Yep. F-L-O-R-D-E, then C-A-N-A. Well, we got both of them on the way. Oh, you already went online. I already, online. Ordered, I already, already ordered, done it. Went straight to Amazon. All right. See what happens? You shop online. How long it took me to find that rum? Five minutes. Less. Less. So yeah. it's come. We got the rum coming. That's right. So Vic, that's so. What what about you, my brother? What's what's uh? Oh, I, you know. First of all, you know, I always say I got to lead in with my um, new new sports, which I do. I'm gonna talk Tebow. We're gonna talk the uh, game three tonight. We we already know how we're gonna handicap the game. Everybody's gonna pick either San Antonio. or or the heat we got that but we know that right now that the thing that's going to happen with tim tebow is bigger than most people think brady the lead is going to be brady may be the one who runs the team but we're talking about fandom play time if any but he's going to be number two behind tebow and is tebow good for football that's going to be one hot picks if you guys don't know i am going to covet this wonderful woman Timing is amazing. We walked out of the show yesterday, Mario, and then as soon as we walked into the front house, you said, here's Essence, <laughs> and we were talking about Serena, and I actually said, well, look, she's gracing the cover of Essence. Now, it's right there in the mailbox. Th th huh? there, that's a big thing when you come, up, come across. Now, she's graced others. Uh, magazines as well. So, what we're going to give you guys, and I think you're going to be challenged with it, is the Essence of Serena. <laughs> that's Ooh, all. That's about Serena's it. Serena's essence. <laughs> yeah, we're gonna find out when you so, when you see Serena. That's one thing. But when you hear the name Serena, what is the first thing that comes to mind when you visualize her? That's gonna be the hot picks. Well, Serena's. You you know, Vic is the one who coined the term pack stereo. Now he said Serena's essence, yes. and then I also have Max and Pure Thoughts. What about Norman? Those are all, those are all fragrances. A pimp diva. We'll give Norman pimp diva. <laughs> <laughs> okay, you guys, uh, just a couple of, you know, news things that look for you to look, take a look at, and I'm highlighting that are crossing my, my path. They're bringing out some new studies about the hidden cost of pregnancy. <laughs> and people don't really realize, you know, how much pregnancy can cost. And how much children can cause. And that's assuming that you wanted to have these. <laughs> so that's one of the articles that's coming out. It's kind of interesting. Mm -hmm. so we'll be, hopefully. You know, we'll see. Tomorrow with Melina, you know, we may do a bunch of different things. Well, how do you feel about, um, you know, Debbie Rowe and the Jackson family uh, actually against Debbie Rowe becoming the uh, guardian for Paris? <laughs> you know, this is the complications that occur. <laughs> When you have sperm donors and egg donors and lard and the poor children and you scrambling trying to figure out who owns what, <laughs> it's a whole new it's thing. It's a, just wait till now you got to have to, see now that we're all in gay marriage, we got to live through all the crazy ass gay divorce. Because they go, they, why would they do any better? Right. <laughs> So they're going to mess it up, too. <laughs> so already. we're going to have gay divorce, and they're going to be suing over. And so and we already had divorce court. Right. Well, I can, we're going to have gay divorce court. <laughs> Actually, if I, can, if I can do the show. <laughs> I know. You know, I, I get it. Norm, will you come help me? <laughs> Here we are. Mario, who, who you got today, Norm? Coming in. <laughs> why, why can't Norm be the judge? No, Norm, and I want to be the damn judge. <laughs> Norm, you know, no, don't you give Norman ideas. He's already <laughs> trying about to run with that shit. I can be judge. No, Norman, you can be the guy who, who you know, helps out the judge. <laughs> Why you gotta be the judge? Hey, y'all, something. Hey, let him be the judge. Yeah, you know what? You anyway. <laughs> Go back and wear, wear those eighteen hundred wigs. I, I like that. Man. You know, Vic. One of the questions I had was, I, I didn't know how long the muted. I hadn't watched the muted uh, piece. Right. And the question was, we wanted to remind everybody that the local zone piece was up there. Okay. Is it, is it how long is it? Uh, it's only about, uh, I would give it somewhere between about six minutes. 
It's about six minutes. Six minutes, that's it. Because it's an it's an interesting piece. Well, yeah, because, you know, this is what we call, you know, like I say, it's, it's brick, and, brick and mortar, which I call online sometimes in a, when you're in your brick and mortar building and you're using online, but sometimes you still got to go social. Well, let's go take a look here at the LZ. If we go to YouTube and search the local zone, see, we can go search the LZ. Muted. That's it. And Muted is the name of a short film that, uh, of course, Brandy Ford wrote and produced. And she has to raise with the Kickstarter program or Kickstarter app program fifteen thousand dollars in 30 days so this is her way of using it and getting out and you know getting people to support which is you know it's like it's like her own way of saying this is my paypal <laughs> yeah i gotta raise funds and every independent film producer is looking at ways to finance their film so this is really what it's about and then the people that's behind it you know that's what you like all right well this is dicta allen's the local zone let's go take a look at muted Everybody, your attention for just a second. My name is Danette Wilson, and for those of you all I have not had the pleasure of meeting just yet, I'm the production manager for Muted. I just wanted to take a second to say just a couple of things. I don't want to be rude earlier and interrupt Brandy and Tara because they spoke so beautifully and just, it was wonderful. I do have to say, we really need to get behind these ladies, seriously. And they have worked so hard. They have dedicated themselves tirelessly for more than a year and I know that this is Hollywood and this is what people do I get it but if you knew the heart of these two young ladies there would be we could raise 15,000 in the blink of an eye I'm telling you they are wonderful I am so honored to be working with them and we really just need to get behind them the subject matter is incredibly important we all know that we all know what we need to be doing to bring attention to this issue but it's not going to happen if we don't get behind them it's this is hollywood it's about numbers that's really all that matters to most people unfortunately but when you meet someone like tara and you meet someone like brandy and you see how motivated they are it's inspiring they know i would do anything for them there's not anything that they could call me that i would say mm, not so much we spend a lot of time together i babysit the boys we're at Tara's house once a week we laugh we talk and we really just need to get behind them we can do it and I want to say congratulations to you you have been such an inspiration to me personally over the last we've known each other for about two years we've been tight for about two years and to see you decide to do something and then actually do it my hat's off because there's no way I would attempt this maybe I will one day and hopefully I'll have the support but in the meantime I'm, I'm all too happy to support and I'm so glad you have someone like Tara because this girl is just oh my god She might be little but don't Don't she I told her tonight. She looks like a cake truffle. She's so cute, but don't be fooled because she's she's a little powerhouse so if my two cents can help you guys Support them more or get the word out at least then I will talk all night. I'm telling you but I won't but I won't uh, Thank you for supporting us and I'm sure Brandy and Tara. Thank you and that's it Party on. Hi everyone, my name is Matt I am so excited to be here not only because I support these two ladies But because this story deserves to be heard. It's a story about real people experiencing real issues and People need to see it. People need to understand why these people are producing this film, why it was written. It's just really, really important that this story is heard by everyone. Hi, everybody. Okay. <laughs> Uh, my name is Danette Wilson. I'm the production manager on Muted. Um, the reason why I'm so interested and excited about this film is basically, Matthew just said it, this is an issue that has not been dealt with what is in the issue? film, surprisingly. We hear about it from time to time on television, or we might read an article here and there, but it's really important that we draw attention to this issue because this is something that we can do something about. People can pay attention and take notice and demand that things change. And if it wasn't, if that wasn't enough, I'm more excited to, I'm just as excited, I should say, to work with Brandy and Tara and everybody else involved. I would get them a cup of water on set if they needed me to, but they, they took pity on me and, and gave me a title and said, all right, production manager. So I'm, I'm excited well, about that, and I know that you guys will support it, and I'm looking forward to it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, I'm also the 
the writer of this script and I was inspired to write this script after hearing about the real life stories of Phoenix Colden and Mitrice Richardson and Ramona Moore, names that more than likely you've never heard of, which is unfortunate because their stories did deserve to be told in the media when they went missing. And that's why I decided to write this film because there are so many young women, men and children who go missing and even the local news doesn't cover it and we don't understand why. So this story addresses that issue. We really hope you'll support us. Oh my goodness, we are so incredibly thankful and grateful for all of the support that we've received um, tonight, this past week, really this past year since we've been on this project and on this journey. But to see everyone come together in support of this project tonight um, has just been wonderful. It's been very validating. Um, it shows to us that we're not in this alone, <laughs> you know, that we do have some supporters who not only stand by us, um, but stand by this issue and will do what they can do to make sure this happens, that this is a reality um, that will pledge their money, their time, their energy, their support, their prayers, their encouragement, their well wishes, because all of that is something that we need and can be grateful for um, just to see this happen. So we're so thankful. Uh, we, we just, we can't thank everyone enough for coming out here to support Mute It. Yeah, it feels amazing to know that other people want to empower you, that they stand behind what you're doing and believe in it and believe in you and what you can do and the difference that you can make. Um, it helps you believe it yourself. So it's wonderful. We're so, so grateful. Um, once again, our Kickstarter has another 23 days. It ends on June 30th. And you can find the film Muted on Kickstarter. And we are at facebook.com slash muted the movie. You can check us out there. We'll be updating as much as we possibly can. And thanks so much for your support. Hey, all right. <laughs> hey, uh. Everybody, it's Victor Allen, The Local Zone, written, produced, directed by Victor Allen. I tell you, he goes out into the city unarmed. <laughs> Get these videos for you. That's right, he goes out there amongst the people. Oh, yeah, man. Yeah, yeah it, it is. You know, it's, it's funny, though. You know, PMC, you say, you know, race is a big factor in this issue. It, it possibly is. But what I like about here that the... the, the, the project that all these people are coming together race wasn't an issue in producing this film and yes it's going to be about money always it's going to always come down to money at the end of the day no matter where race comes in money comes in and it's the prime directive so. and we want to make all of our associates some money we want us to make money we want pmc to make money mac to make money and of course we all know norman has a tremendous budget here. Yeah. For his clothing. I can't wait because so I we, think... we got to make sure he's covered. Yeah. Summer's coming and, you know, he's got to get it. I think he's doing it real well. I like the part he has his website. He's, he's looking to do the remake of Victor Victoria. Mm -hmm. Oh, that reminds me. Uh, I did send out an email and uh, I'm, go I'm actually going to send it out to some of the other... I don't know if I sent it out... To, did I send it out to, Well, <laughs> it's a, I'm doing a remake, a parody remake of the song Once in a Lifetime. Last night I was up late because I actually got the track and was doing, starting to do a mix on it. And I really was trying to do a whole different thing with the rhythm tracks. But it's going to be some, we're going to see some crazy parody, silly things here. We've got the drum kit, Vic, right in the studio. I got the guitar, the horns. Yep. And so we're going to be asking people to contribute. And then I actually thought we may even try to do one of these crazy music videos and have our team's folks send in little video clips or crazy stuff that we have dropped into it. Like bobbing their heads or shaking their, you know, you don't have to show yeah. your face. You can put on sunglasses and do something. Are you asking or instructing them like they're in elementary that they can have fun? <laughs> <laughs> Mac, Mac, Mac McAllister has impure thoughts. I'll just leave it there. Ladies and gentlemen.